We'll be dealing today a theme that is entitled, What Must I Do to Be Saved? I will say it one more time. Our theme today is entitled, What Must I Do to Be Saved? And we'll be covering from Romans chapter 10, verses 5, up to verse number 13. Mga igsoon, para sa ako, mauni ang pinaka-importante nga pangutan na nga kinahangla na to, tubagun sa sakto nga tubag. What must a person do so that he will be saved? In my opinion, this is the most important question in life. Tungod kay ang tubag ni ini nga pangutana may kalabutan sa atong kinabuhi karon ug dili lang sa atong kinabuhi karon ug usab sa atong kinabuhi puhon. The answer of this question will affect our lives today and our lives in eternity. 1000 years after we will die, ang tubag ani nga pangutana still matter the most. But the sad reality, mga igsoon, people, people struggle to, to answer this question correctly. Mauna ang sakit nga kamatuuran tungod kay ang mga tao maglisod og tubag ni ini nga pangutana, even churches and religions, cannot answer this question correctly, cannot answer this question biblically. Kung mangutan ako igsoon karon magkuha ko og lima ka tawo akong pangutan-on. Kung unsa ba ang angayang buhaton sa tawo aron siya maluwas, I believe that I will get five different answers. Managlahi ang tubag. Tungod kay kini nga pangutana, although it is ambiguous or kanang gitawag nato og lisod tubagon, pero na ang iyang tubag sa balaan nga kasulatan. It is in the Bible. Okay, so, how can I be saved? The most important question, and yet, people really don't know how to address this question correctly. Nagatuo ko mga igsoon nga kung dili mantanan, kasagaran sa mga religion, kasagaran sa mga kasimbahanan, nagahisgot, Naga, nagatubag ni ini nga pangutana pero ang problema tungod kay managlahi man ang tubag sa matag usa so karong buntag we will go back to the bible and let us see what is the biblical answer of this question what must i do to be saved okay now in romans chapter 10 verse 5 says, For Moses writes about the righteousness that is based on the law. That the person who does the commandment shall live by them. Pwede ba nato i-adjust siya ka dali, ka, ka gamay marps? Kaya di na ako siya kayo mabasa. Ikuha lang sa ano diyan. Isibog lang. Yan. Thank you. Much better. Okay, so in Romans chapter 10, verse 5, it says, For Moses writes about the righteousness of the law, that the person who does the commandments shall live by them. So, sa Romans chapter 10, verse 5 to 8, gipakita ni Pablo ang diferensya sa kaluwasan sa balaod o sa kaluwasan sa grasya. Ingon si Paul, if you wanted to do, if you wanted to be saved by the law, this is the requirement. Ingon si Paul, you have to live by them. So kinahanglan, imong ikinabuhi ang tanang gisugo sa balaan nga kasulatan. And Paul says, this is the impossible way. Gisgutan ni Pastora Jane last Wednesday, Ingon siya nga ang mga hudiyo 
matinod anon sincero nga nagasunod sa balaod and they even claim that they will be saved by following the law that they will be saved by studying the law that they will be saved by obeying the law in fact mo ni ang argument ni Paul uban sa iyang mga kamag isika hudyo tungod kay para sa mga hudyo ingon sila nga dili na namo kinahanglan ang pagtuo kang Kristo tungod kay nagatuman man kami sa balaod sa kanang kinasing-kasing we have the law and therefore we conclude that we will see by the law even without faith in Christ so money ang argument sa mga hudyo nga gihisgutan ni Pastora Jane last Wednesday that they will be saved based on following the law so Paul nagingon si Pablo nga no no you might be religious but you will be lost money ang tremendous nga desire ni Paul nga maluwas unta ang iyang isig ka hudyo tungod kay dili niya madawat ka ang iyang isig ka hudyo kanang matinud anon sinsero nga nagatuman sa balaod may pagani ang mga hudyo kay kung magampo katulo kalima ka unom sa usa ka adlaw kaysa mga kristohanon mo mo ampo lang katulo kada kaon kung imong tanawon grabe ka matinud anon grabe ka payos grabe ka devoted ang mga hudyo sa pagtuman sa balaod mo nang dili madawat ni Paul nga dili sila maluwas kung do na may maluwas sila Kung doon na may kandidato sa kaluwasan sila because they are so committed, they are so devoted in following the law of Moses or following the Ten Commandments. Igsoon ang mga hudyo manimba kaduha sa usa kaadlaw. Kristohanon, kaupat lang gani sa usa kabulan, ka isa lang mutungha sa usa kabulan. Usahay pagod nagi wala sa usa kabulan. Hello somebody. Mutu mutungha lang daw kung birthday, mutungha lang og Thanksgiving, mutungha lang og kanang Christmas party. Mga igsuon kung do na may angayang luwason sa Ginoo, sigurado ang kandidato mga Hudyo na. Kay grabe ang ilang devotedness and committedness when it comes to following the law. Pero ingon si Pablo, if you want to be saved by the law, this is the requirement. Ingon siya that you have lived, that you shall live by them. Kinahanglan, inyong ikinabuhi sa tanang panahon. So, ingon si Pablo, it is impossible, you cannot do that one. Mura kang nagsaka sa Mount Everest, back and forth for one day. Pastor, impossible na pastor, Mount Everest one day. It takes seven days, back and forth, sa mga eksperensyado ng mga mountaineers, musaka sa Mount Everest. Anyway, akong gi-research ang Mount Everest day. Ang pinakadako na dito sa iyang sa iyang kanang sa iyang kanang peak na bitaw niya, sa pinakataas na jud, inkadako lang daw sa dining table, musulod lang unom unom paingon sa na pulo ka tao. Inana na kagamay dito sa tumoy sa Mount Everest. Pero nahimo na siya ang kanang gitawag nga spot, no? Tourism spot. Tungod kay daghan ang nagasaka dito, but it takes seven days. It is impossible to to climb that mountain in one in just one day. So, kung gusto ni mo maluwas sa balaod, mura kag nagkatkat sa Mount Everest for one day. It's impossible, Pastor. That's the point. It's impossible that person will be saved by the law. Walay maluwas sa pagtuman sa balaod kay kinahanglan tumano ni mo for life. All of that law for life. Walay undang, walay putol. Kaya. Pwede ka maluwas sa pagtuman sa balaod, pero kaya ba? Okay, James chapter 2 verse 10. Muna yung ingon sa verse. James chapter 2 verse 10. For whoever keeps the whole law, but fails in one point, has become guilty of all of it. So, makita ninyo? Ang tao bisan pa iyang gituman ang tanang balaod. Masipyat lang siya kaisa he will be called guilty of sin. So it's impossible, mga igsoon. That's the impossible way of salvation. And that's why Paul is saying, do not do the impossible. No one will be saved by the law. I will present to you the simple way of salvation. And this is the only way of salvation. This is the gracious way of salvation. So, kipakita ni Pablo, ang comparison sa balaod, walay maluwas. Ingon siya, diri sa grasya, dinhi ang tinuod nga kaluwasan. Okay, now, in Romans chapter 10, verse 8 to 9, muni ang giingon. 
But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. Kanang word nga gisugutan ni Paul din ha, that is the faith. No? Muni ang atong gina-declare, kining maayong balitain siya, the word is near you, it is in your mouth and it is in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Okay, unsa day nang nga nung kinahanglan man sa atong kasing-kasing o sa atong baaba ang pulong? In verse 9, Because if you confess in your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Now, Paul now is presenting the gracious way how to be saved. Ipakita na ni Pablo ang law, walay maluwas, kay if you break one law, you will be guilty of all. So, yung siya, that's the impossible way. Now, I will present to you the easiest way and the only way. And this is the gracious way of salvation. Muna niyang i-present. Nga, gitagaan kita o pulong sa Diyos sa atong bakba, pulong sa Diyos sa atong kasing-kasing para atong isugid nga si Kristo. God Himself give us the, the, the Word. He give us the word in our mouth to speak it. He give us the word in our heart to believe it. So, Moni, ang ingo ni Paul, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Paul is saying that it's not a difficult one. It's not a distant one. Salvation is not a difficult one. The hard part has been done already by Christ. Gibuhat na ni Kristo ang lisod nga parte sa kaluwasan. Ang nabili na lang sa ato ang easiest part to be saved. Manang gitawag nato siya grace because we don't deserve this salvation. Igsoon gi compare ni Pablo mao ni ang balaod, mao ni ang grasya. The law, will tell, the, the law will tell you that you have to achieve. But grace will tell you that you have to receive. The law will tell you that you have to do this one. But grace will tell you it is done. Hello, somebody. Humana. Wala na kay buhaton. All you have to do is to receive. Do not achieve it anymore. It, had been, it has been achieved already by Christ 2,000 years ago. That was the hardest part of salvation. What's left for all of us is the easiest part, and that is to receive because all of it was done by Christ on the cross. Palakpakan nato ang Dios. Now, going back to the question, what must I do to be saved? It is found in this verse. Bisan sa mga igso na to sa simbahan, dagay sa ato, kabalo ko nagduha-duha pa sa inyong kaluwasan. Igsoon, wala ka naluwas tungod kayo nag-confess ka sa gitawag na itong sinner's prayer. I would like to make an announcement that there is no such i-reference in the Bible about the sinner's prayer. Kita mo sa Bible ay sinner's prayer? Tanang Naluwas sa Bible, walay incident that they have recited the sinner's prayer. Tanang naluwas sa Bible, they never recited the sinner's prayer. And that is why, do not, do not be kanang consumed by believing that you are saved because you have recited the sinner's prayer or somebody has led you in that sinner's prayer. Again, this is a very critical and dangerous question that you need to answer correctly. Because it will affect your life today and it will affect your life in eternity. Muna mga igsoon, go nit sa bangko and let us dive in together for the right answer, the biblical answer of this question, what must I do to be saved? Okay. The first thing that you need to do based on our text na gibasa, 
What must I do to be saved? You will be saved by believing in your heart. I will see it one more time. Di ako gusto nga dili mo makadungog. You will be saved. The first step is to believe with all your heart. It is found in Romans chapter 10, verse 10. For with the heart, everybody say heart. Say it one more time, heart. Say it the last time, heart. For with the heart, one believes. Igsoon, ang atong pagtuo wala sa ulo. Ang atong pagtuo naa sa kasing-kasing marbs. Faith cannot be found in your head. What can be found in your head is the comprehension. It's the knowledge. But faith can never be found in our head. Bisang pagdaghang kag nakatunan, bisang pagdaghang kag nadunggan, bisang pagdaghang kag nahibaluan. But my dear friends, ang pagtuo wala nanukad sa ulo. Ang pagtuo makaplagan lamang sa kasing-kasing sa tao. Can you say amen? Faith can only be found in the heart of men. So, it's in the heart that we believe. It's in the heart. It's not in our head that we believe. Igsoon dagay mga tao na gatuo sa Diyos. But that is a head faith. Mutuo sila nga dunay Diyos. Mutuo sila nga ang nagbuhat sa tanan Diyos. Even Satan believe that there is God. Pero ang iyang pagtuo is head faith. That was a knowledge faith. Og dili mo sangko sa tinud anay nga kaluwasan. The first requirement kung gusto maluwas ang usa ka tawo kinanglan, mutuo siya sa iyang kasing-kasing. There must be faith in his heart. So on, I would like to emphasize this one although importante ang ulo. Everybody si ulo. Importante ang ulo. Nga naman kung walay ulo, patay ang tao. Of course. May buhi nga tao walay ulo. Importante ang ulo. Kay wala kay tuuhan kung wa kay mahibaluan. Munang kinahanglan ka dunay madunggan, kinahanglan ka dunay masabdan, kinahang Paliko ko itanimo katawag tinga paminaw. Paminaw, dili pwede nga makadungog lang nga kinahanglan makasabot ka. Kay ang imong pagtuo manukad sa buta nga imong nasabtan. Wala kay tuuhan kung wala nimo nasabtan. Paliko ko type anang diya sa atong screen igna siya paminaw. Ayaw sige lakaw-lakaw. Paminaw. Kaya aron doon na kay tuuhan. Because what you will be learning, what you will comprehend, mo na ang maghatag sa imuog pagtuo. Okay, so, importante igson ang comprehension. Comprehension is important, but it, does, it, it is not enough to see the person. I will say it one more time. Comprehension is very important. I will not... I, I, I will not kanang underestimate the power of comprehension. Comprehension is very important, but it is not enough to see the person. You need conviction from the heart that will push towards commitment in following and serving Christ. So, comprehension and conviction will go together. Kinanglan duna kay nasabtan, aron duna kay tuuhan. Dili pwede nga nasabtan lang wala nimo gituan. Di pud pwede nga nagatuo lang kang wala nimo nasabtan. Dagay mga igsoon at mga igsoon nga mali ang ilang gituohan. Why? Because they don't understand what they believe. Mao ni ang kahimtang sa mga Hudyo. Gituohan nila nga maluwas sila sa pagtuman sa balaod. Nagmatinod anon sila sinsiro sila sa pagtuman sa balaod. But Paul says he will not be saved in following the law. So again, comprehension and conviction will go together. It will, it will give you a heart of commitment in following and serving Christ. In Acts chapter 8, verse 35, Moni ang encounter ni Philip sa eunuch. Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at the scripture preached Jesus to him. Okay, so again, si, si Pilipi nagwali sa yunoko. So, kinahanglan yun ang pulong mga igsoon. Kinahanglan ang pagwali mga igsoon. 
These things that we are doing every Sunday, every Wednesday, this is very important. Kaya kung wak kay madunggan, wak kay, wak kay tuuhan, o wak kay mahimong ka ng instrumento nga maluwas ka. Because faith comes from hearing the word. Pastor Jane will elaborate that one. That is in Acts chapter 10 verse 17. Uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Pastor Jane will elaborate that one this coming Wednesday. The importance of preaching the gospel. Okay, now, preach Jesus to him. And verse 36, it says, now, as they went down the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? So, ingon ang eunuch ko nga, Uy, na ito big. Muragibati na ako, nga kinanglan ako magpabautismo. Mga igsoon, I cannot imagine, I cannot reconcile. Nga nung sa atong era, karon sa atong generation today. Pag maluwas ang tao, it will take months and years before magpabautismo. Help me to understand that, brothers and sisters. Nga nung ingon ana, in the Bible, sa pagkaluwas, diha, diha, dayon sila gibautismuhan. Although, ang, ang bautismo sa tubig, it's not, it's not necessary sa imong kaluwasan. But that is a public confession that you are, that is the first commandment that you need to follow. After sa imong kaluwasan, that is the first fruit of salvation. Muna ang pinakaunang bunga sa kaluwasan, ang imong pagpabautismo sa tubig. Mga igsoon ako sa pagtuo, diri sa Hope of Glory, kung katong imong pagpabautismo sa una, wala ni mo masabtan, wala ni mo na feel ang value, magpabautismo ko tro. Why? Because this water baptism is so important. This is a declaration that you are now a follower of Jesus Christ. This is a declaration that you are now willing to die in behalf of Christ. Kung nagpabautismo ka sa una nga wala ka nakasabot, wala ni mo na feel, then, pastor, pabautismo ko, magbautismo ta ko tro. So that you will feel the importance, the value, the necessity of water baptism. Okay, now, uh, that's another lesson, that's another class. Okay, asa na ta? Verse 37. Then Philip said, Ingo siya, gusto na ako magpabautismo. Ang sa'y ipangutanan ni Philip, ni Philip sa iya, ni Philip. Ang sa'y, ang sa'y, ang sa'y ni Philip sa iya. If you believe with all your heart, you, me, and he answered. Ingo siya, kung mituo ka kang Kristo sa kinasing-kasing, pwede ka nang magpabautismo. That's the requirement. If you receive Christ and believe Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you me now. So, unsa gi ingon sa you know ko? And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So mga igsoon, the first requirement of salvation, it's believing with all our heart. This is not a mind game. Belief is not a mind game. It's an issue of the heart. And you will be saved. Now, the next question, Pastor, unsa man ang akong tuuhan? If I need to believe, gusto na ko siya i-detali para wag yung mamiss ninyo nga maluwas ka. Okay. Now, kung ang pagtuo kinahanglan, Pastor, what are the things that I need to believe? Okay, the first thing that you need to believe, you have to believe that Jesus is Lord. I will say it one more time. You have to believe that Jesus is Lord. Not to confess a sinner's prayer. Kabalo ko da kandiri sa ato, claim nga naluwasta. Kaya na naglead sa ato sa sinner's prayer. No, no, no. It is never found in the It can never be found in the Bible. You will be saved by believing that Jesus is Lord. Friends, we have to understand that He is not our servant. We have to understand that He is not our genie. We have to understand that Jesus is Lord. And I would like to make an announcement. We are making Him Lord. We are not making Him Lord because He is Lord. 
Wala na ito siyang gimong Diyos, kaya ito siyang ginasimba. No, no, no. Before ta nagasimba siya, He is Lord. Wala ang patas sa kalibutan, He is Lord. And it will never be changed. That, that, tr- that is the truth. That is the reality that cannot be changed. Na may tao o wala, ang Diyos magpabilin nga Diyos. Pero ang tao kung wala ang Diyos, magkamumho ang tao kung wala ang Diyos. Kabalo mo na ekspresyon ng kamumho? Magkapuliki, magkaguliang ang tao kung wala ang Ginoo. Igsoon, dili ni mo pwede bulagon ang pagkaman luluwas ni Kristo o ang iyahang pagkadiyos. Yes, Jesus is our Savior, but also Jesus is our Lord. Now, the problem lies because we wanted Him to be our Savior, but it's hard for us to recognize and to realize that He is also our Lord. Munay lisod. Gusto ta? Nga mahimo siyang manluluwas, pero dili ta gusto, mahimo na to siyang Diyos. Ngunit na sa panultihon, everybody wants to eat, but only few wants to hunt. Kitang tanan kusog mga on, pailingi mong katapad nga, kusog mga kamuka on. Uh, trabaho-trabaho, sad, lihok, sad. Kitang tanan gusto mo ka on, ang problema, pipila lang ang gusto maning kamot. Ngunit po nang istorya, Kitang tanan gusto nato nga ang Diyos mahimong manluluwas nato. Pero di ta gusto nga siya mahimo nato Diyos. So dili siya pwede ibulag nimo ang pagka Diyos og iyahang pagka manluluwas. In the entire New Testament, the word savior was mentioned only 10 times. But the word Lord was mentioned 700 times. I will say it one more time. Ang word nga Savior was mentioned only se- uh, 10 times and the word Lord was mentioned 700 times. So if Jesus is not your Lord, He is not your Savior. I will say it one more time. Kung maglisod ka, Himo sa Dios nga imong Dios, it means that He is not your Savior. Kaya di man imong sila pwede bulagon. Kung maglisod ka og tuman sa ginoo, bodi pasabot, wala pa ikan luwas. Because you cannot separate the Lordship and the Saviorhood of Christ. This is the challenge sa mga Kristuhan. Nga naman, kaya kung dili ni mo masurinder ang tanan kang Kristo, dili ni mo siya pwedeng tawagong Diyos. So, kinahanglan, walay rivalry in our hearts. Ang maglingkod sa trono sa kasing-kasing sa tao, it should be Christ. So, pati panurtiyon, if Christ is not the Lord of all, He is not the Lord at all. I will say it one more time. If Christ is not the Lord of all, He is not the Lord at all. So kung dili ni mo itugyan ang tanan nganha kang Kristo, He is not your Lord. So let us surrender all the keys of our lives, mga igsoon. Let us surrender all the keys of our lives. Susi sa kabalaka, susi sa kahadlok, susi sa balatian, Susi sa sakyanan, susi sa panimalay, yes, maproblema man ta, labiting bayad na sa sakyanan. Tanan, susi sa negosyo, susi sa love life, susi sa family life, susi sa Christian life, everything. Surrender it to Christ. Mga igsoon, daghay stressful nga kristohanon. Why? Because they miss this one. Acknowledging that Jesus is Lord. That Jesus is still on His throne. That He is sovereign. That He is in control. Tanaw man ito, Igsoon, sa kalibutan, nga morag nagkaguliang na Igsoon, Jesus is in control. 
Dakay mga Kristohano nagpanik na magpa magpabaksin ba ta pastor? Dakay may mga balita pastor nga mga matay na taig soon Jesus is in control. Kung kita mga niluwas na ni Kristo, God will preserve us, God will protect us. Kung usa man ang modus operandi ni ining mga kaaway nato sa kalibutan. If he is our savior, all you have to do is to fall surrender to Christ even the vaccination. Can you say amen? Daghay na stress tungod kay kanang di miss the point of surrendering everything in Christ. It's now time mga igsoon to live a blessful life. Stop being stressed and start being blessed by surrendering everything in Christ. Palagpakan nato ang Diyos. Igsoon, the joy of the Lord. I like this one. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. So, ang atong kusog, ang kalipay, ngagikan sa Diyos. Dili ang kalipay, ngagikan sa mga butang, sa kalibutan. It will not give you strength. But this joy, huh? oh, thank you, Pastora. The joy that comes from the world, it gives you stress. It will not give you strength. That's good, no? Okay, now, ang tinunanay nga kusog, atong makaplagan diha sa kalipay nga gikan sa Diyos. And this joy of the Lord starts when we recognize, when we start to recognize that He is Lord, palagpakan na ito ang Diyos. Muni ang sikrito, mga igsoon, magmalipayon ka. Muni ang sikrito, igsoon, nga magmalinaon ka. Make Him the Lord of your life. It's enough na. Stop being stressed and start being blessed by recognizing that Jesus is Lord. So number one, you have to believe that Jesus is Lord, not just your Savior. Surrender everything to God. Imong future, ang imuhang past, ang imong present, everything in life, itugyan sa Ginoo. Trabaho, negosyo, mga planos kinabuhi, itugyan sa Ginoo. Lord, ikaw na ibahalaan eh. Of course, uban ang pagpa ningkamot. Okay, now, second, nga kinanglantuuhan, within uh, sa, sa tibo kasing-kasing. Okay, Believe that God raised him from the dead. Okay. Based on in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10, nga itong gibasa, you have to believe that Jesus is Lord and you have to believe that God raised him from the dead. Now, you might be asking me the question, why his resurrection, Pastor? Why he's not? Why 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 not his birth, Pastor John? Ano dili man ang iyang pagkatao? Ano nga kung tuwa ng iyang mga pagkabano nga ang iyang rin pagkatao? Ano dili man ang iyang Christian life, ang iyang Christ life? Ano dili man ang iyang kamatayon? Why the resurrection? It is victory. Okay, now, atong tubagon. Because you might be asking the question, why? Why only the resurrection? Why? Is the birth not important? Is the life of Christ not important? Is His death not important? No. All of those things are important. Kaya dili mahitabo ang pagkabanaw kung wala siya na tao. Pero, Lidas, ang Bible ang atong patubagon. Dili enough na ta ka ng kaugalingon na to. Ang Bible nga nung ang resurrection. Why? Okay. Atong basahon ang Bible. Lidas, open our Bible in Matthew chapter 12, verse 38. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered him, saying, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. So ang mga skriba, ang mga hudiyo, ang mga parisiyo, nangayog sign kang Kristo, kung tinood ka nga anak sa Diyos, give us a sign. Give us a proof. Okay, unsa kaya ang ihatag ni Kristo nga proof? In verse 40. Okay, for just, this is the sign na gihatag ni Kristo. For just as Juna was three days 
and three nights in the belly of the great fish. So will the son, so will the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth? So sa diag na ngayo ang mga hudiyo ug timailhan, ilhanan kung ikaw bagyod ang tinuod nga anak sa Dios mo ni ang gihatag ni Kristo. I will see it to you. Sa mga si Juna, gikaon wala gikaon sa isa kay kung gikaon pa siya sincilio si Juna. Gilamoy sa isda. Lahi ang gikaon, lahi ang gilamoy. Kung gikaon pa, wala na. Sinsilyo na si Juna. Okay. Sama nga si Juna, gilamoy sa dakong isda. And he stayed in the belly of, the, of that big fish, three days and three nights. Ang anak sa tao, tulog kaadlaw usabog tulog kagabi, ngadto sa kinahiladman sa yuta. This is now the prediction. This is now the prophecy about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, when we asked him about the sign, the sign that was given by Christ was the resurrection. You can say that I am the Son of God in my resurrection. Okay, another verse. Romans chapter 1, verse 4. And was declared to be the Son of God. Jesus. He was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the Spirit of Holiness by his resurrection. So, his resurrection declares him to be the son of God. His resurrection money ang naghatag og preba nga siya anak sa Dios. Mga igsuon ang pagkatao ni Kristo it tells us nga siya tao. Ang pagkabanhaw ni Kristo it tells us nga siya, Dios. I will see it one more time. Very important phrase. In his birth, Jesus is telling us that he is 100% human. Natao siya. In his resurrection, Jesus is telling us that he is 100% God. Igsoon, dili pwede mahimong manluluwas ang patay na. Pero salamat sa Dios nga si Kristo buhi. Og bisan kanos adili na mamatay. He was risen from the dead. Dili pwede himong manluluwas ang patay nga tao. Sa unsang paagi nga ang patay makaluwas sa mga buhi. Siya gani wala gani naluwas ang kaugalingon patay gani siya. How can he save those who are alive if he is dead? Og si Kristo lang mo ningon nga Muni ang nakasiparit sa iya sa tanang mga, sa kanang gitawag na itong tanang mga founder sa mga religion. Because only Christ rise back, rose back from the dead. Only Jesus Christ. Wala lain. Igsoon, I will not condemn you kung ang imong ginasunod patay nga tao. But let me tell you this very important announcement. Nga si Kristo lang ang namatay gilubong o sa ikatulog ka adlaw na banhaw. O kung doon na may manluluwas ng akong pilion, I will always choose those person who are still alive and will never die forever. And that is why I bet my life on Christ. And that is why I surrender my life on Christ. And that is why I choose Him to be my Savior. Okay, now, Sa itong first requirement, believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and God raised Him from the dead. Mura na ikson ang requirement. It's simple, it's easy. All you have to do is to believe it. Lord, You are my Lord. And I believe that You rise, that You rose from the dead. Okay, the second requirement. Okay, it is found in Romans chapter 10 verse 9. You have to confess in your mouth. Okay, so this faith, this word that is in our heart, it will become faith. The word that is in our mouth will become our confession. Okay, minauta ha? Ang pulong nga nasa imong kasing-kasing, mahimo na siyang pagtuo. The Word. Everybody say the Word. 
Okay, now, ang pulong, it is God who placed that word in your heart. And that is why you have faith in Him. It is God who put that word in your mouth and that is why you have confession. Okay, now, the second requirement is by confessing. Number one, by believing. Number two, by confessing. Romans chapter 10, verse 9, it says, Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Now, question. Dagay nang otana ni sa ako sa seminary. Kinahanglan ba nga ipamulong ko nga si Kristo, Dios, bago ko maluwas? Pila ni 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. I have seven in this room today. And I believe you have different answer. Okay. Yes or no lang to baga, kinahanglan ba nga akong isulti? Kinahanglan ba mugawas sa akong ba, ba nga Lord Jesus is Lord bago ko maluwas? Diyan sa likod, hindi na ako mag-mention ng pangalan? Yes. 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 Wala ko managlahi nila ito bagaan eh. No? Ayaw. No? 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 Oh. Di ba? We have two different answers. Kaya doon may options. Kaya kung lima pang options, lima po ni Kabuk answer. <laughs> so, imagine, very important question and yet we do not know the answer. Di ba makahadlock? Struggle is real. We wanted to be saved, but we do not know how to be saved. Muna, importante ang pagsimba, importante ang pagtuon sa pulong. Because comprehension is important in our conviction. Okay, now, the answer is, kinahanglan ba ipamulong mo sa imong mga baba? Sa imong baba? No. The answer is, no. Okay, sa atong mga niaging mga wali, atong gisgutan, the, you had been justified by faith. Oh, nakalimot lagi mo. Nabagi ko dito, if you confess in your mouth, Wala. Na atong tanahon, unsan yung nga confession ang giingon din ni Paul? It is by faith, it is by grace alone, through faith alone, that you are saved. No. Wala yung mention dito nga, it is only in this particular verse. But most of the verses, Romans, Ephesians, it is by faith, it is through faith alone. So, munang we must be consistent. Tama, Marbs? Tama. <laughs> okay, now, atong tanahan eh. Unsan yung confession? Okay, now, Matthew 7, nag-ingon ang Matthew chapter 7, nga dili tanang nag-ingon sa ako, nagtawag sa ako, Diyos ko, Diyos ko, maluwas. Not all of them who call me Lord will be saved. Okay. That is a confession, right? Tama? Pero yung siya, dili tanan. Pwede kita magtudlo ka ni sa parot. Ignan ni mga, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord. Mayroon pong parot, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord. Do you think maluwas ang parot? Do you think maluwas ang parot? <laughs> Maka walang parot. Tuduan ni mga parot. Ignan, isulti, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Di ba? Pero maluwas bang parot? No. Why? Because it needs believing in the heart. Is it is not only on the confession of the mouth, it is in believing in the heart. Now, okay, now, ato ning i-reconcile. Okay, now. Dagay mga tao nga bisan kanin managma, manawag og Ginoo. In Jesus name, oh, grabe nga confession. Di ba? Di ba? Dagay mga tao bisan madakin aslan Ginoo ko. <laughs> ano makurat ang Ginoo ko. Nayuban gani nga ginatawag pa gid murag murag Trinity, Hesus Mariusip. Na ang anak, na ang mama, na ang papa. Does it mean nga maluwas ka? That is confession. Right? 
Pero what really matters is the believing in the heart, not the confessing in the mouth. Now, atong tanan, what is this confession? Okay. Uh, Paul told us nga pinagi sa atong pagtuo gimatarong kita sa gino. It is faith in the heart that will save man. I will say it one more time. It is faith in the heart that will save man. Pero, pero, kung tinuot ang imong pagtuo normally, naturally, it will comes out in your mouth. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it out. Hello, somebody. Kung tinunanay ni mo nga Diyos si Kristo normally, bukang bibig ni mo si Kristo. Uh, hinumdum ko itong kanta ni Gary Valenciano nga uh, gaya ng dati. Sagay ko na na, Pastor, kung kabalo ka. Dati-rati laman ng ang laman ng puso mo ay ang pangalan ko. Dati-rati Diba? Bukang bibig, bukang bibig sa mga kaibigan mo. Because normally, so on, if Jesus is really in your heart, normally it will come out in your mouth. Normally, automatically. Tara ko na sa akong ginahimo, God, di ba? Makikita mo sa ako, makaingon si Kurmo sa si Pastor Oy, nga si Magposa ng iyang Santi, Santi, because I believe with all my heart that barley can help people. And that is why I keep sharing. Why? Because that's what I believe. Pero wala ka nagtuo nga makatabang, you will not share it. You will not endorse it. Because you do not believe it. But if you believe about it, you will never stop. Because based on my experience, it helps me. And I believe it will help others. That's what I believe. Ngano nagawalita? sa pulong sa ginoo. Because I believe that through the preaching of the word, faith comes from hearing. And that is why I, I study the Bible. Every time I preach, I study the word. So that doon ako ikahatag sa mga maminaw na may mong source sa ilahang kusog, may mong source sa ilahang kanang kadasig, may mong source sa ilang pagtuo. That's what we believe. So, mga igso, normally, Pag imong gituan sa imong kasing-kasing, it will comes out in the mouth. It's normal. It's automatic. Okay. In the context of the Jews, critical ang ilang paingon nga Jesus is Lord. Why? Because sila naanad or sila, gi, sila gitugutan lamang sa paingon nga Caesar is Lord. Now, if somebody from the soldiers of Caesar, makadungog sa imo that you are declaring that Jesus is Lord. You will be killed because that is a treason. Because here they are, they were allowed only to say that Caesar is Lord. Mo na ang context nila din he. Kung tinuod ka nga munisunod na kang Kristo, you are willing to die. Ipahayag nga si Kristo ang imong Dios dili si Caesar. Mone ang context diri mga igsoon. But yet again, out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth speak it out. Okay, now, James Edwards says, ito yung sinabi ni Edwards. Belief without confession is denial. Confession without belief is ritual. I will explain this one. Belief without confession is this is what happens with Peter. He believed in God, but he failed to confess that Jesus is his Lord. Pangutan na siya sa bata. Di ba? Kauban ka? No, no, no. Dili ko kauban. I, I, I'm not one of them. Huwag ko kailan ang tawana. That is denial. Belief without confession is denial. Now, on the other hand, confession without belief is ritual. Daghay mga igso na to. 
dakay mga pamilya nato nga nagmatinod anon sa pag-confess sa ilang gituuhan pero mali ang ilang gituuhan it becomes ritual ritual na lang ang pagampo ritual na lang ang pag simba ritual na lang ang pagbasa sa Bible ni mong ritual ang pagampo balik-balik lang because they don't have belief in Christ but they confess sama sa mga Hudyo it becomes a ritual so belief and confession always go together but confession starts with belief Okay, this is the result of belief, ang confession. Yung pa ni Pastor Jean. This is the result. So, sa imong pagtuo, mga igsoon, luwas ka na. Wala ka na luwas kay, mito ka din, ni, ni confess ka, ayha ka na luwas. No, 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 no. I would like to make this very clear. Sa imong pagtuo lang daan, na luwas ka na. O tungod kay imong mga gituan sa kinasingkasing imong gikonfess sa imong mga ngabil. Natural. But believing in the heart, it saves you already. Dili sa imong confession in the mouth. So, I hope klaro na mga igsoon. Okay, now, in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Akong again, I don't know kung nabadiri ang Romans chapter, ah, wala na. Romans chapter 10, verse 14, Although si Pastor Jane ang magwali ani next next Wednesday, uh, this coming Wednesday, akong agian para di mo maglibog aning confession. Pwede ba Marvis? Ako manggibutang akong giiris gahapon. Okay, money ang giingon niya. Sa verse 13 ingon siya nga everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Verse 14 mo ni ang giingon. But how can they call on him? Whom they have not believed. And how can they believe without hearing about Him? And how can they hear without a preacher? So kung imong balik taron, kinanglan ang magwawalik. Aron dunay mag? Wali. Okay, kinanglan ang magwawalik, aron dunay magwali, o kung dunay magwali, dunay sila'y madunggan. O kung dunay sila'y madunggan, dunay sila'y tuuhan o sa ilang pagtuo Mutawag sila sa ginoo. That's the meaning of the word confession. Through your belief, you will, you will call on the name of the Lord. It's the belief that will save you. So, dili, mga mutawag siguro ko sa katao kung wala mo siya gituuhan, right? So, money ang... Yeah, so, anyway, ilaborin na ni Pastor Jane this coming... Wednesday. Okay, so back to our slide in verse 13. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So, kana nga calling manukad tungod kay doon na kay pagtuo. Igsoon, salvation is simple and readily available. I will say it one more time. Salvation is simple and readily available. If you confess in your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe with all your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Sa atong mga Kristohano na po, Salvation is just the beginning. This is not our destiny. Salvation is only the beginning of our sanctification. Pero dagay mga Kristohanon, ang feeling nato kay ni Abot na no. We are still in our departure. We are still in the beginning of the process. Sa ato mga Kristohanon, let us live committedly. Let us live faithfully. Christian life is all about commitment. Commitment sa pagsimba, 
commitment sa paghatag, commitment sa pagtabang, commitment sa paghatag sa atong ikanapulo, commitment sa pagbasa sa Bible, commitment sa pagampo, commitment sa pagsunod sa atong live streaming, commitment sa pag-share sa atong mga live streaming. It, it's all about commitment. Being a Christian is just the beginning. But Christianity is a life of commitment. Commitment sa pagsangyaw. I don't know, asa ko nag-comment ka ganina, Igsoon, walay secret agent na Kristohanon. Ha? Sa Solters, no? Oh, Naihimuragi po si Mark? Si Mayan, si Mark. Si Mayan, hmm? Ni ko ni 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 ko ang walay secret agent nga Kristohanon. Usay kita mga igsoon, mura tag secret agent dili ta may ilan nga Kristohanon ta. Secret agent ni pastor para di isla ka ila sa ako abang. No, ningon ba di ang Bible mag secret agent ka? Ingon ang Bible, let your light so shine before man. You are not a secret agent. Pero kung lingis mo katapat igna siya, you are not a secret agent. You are the light of this world. Naingon siya, sulti na. Sulti na. Naay mo mga iksoon, pariente, amigo, pamilya, sultihin na sila. Kano sa pamanin mo sila sultihan? Sulti na. Okay, so, then, commitment sa pagkinabuhing balaan. So, akong gisulti ka ganina, stop being stressful and start being blessful. Be faithful, be committed in serving the Lord. And I believe, dili ka pasagdan sa gino. Let us pray.